Howdy folks, and welcome to this reaction of The Witcher, official teaser from Netflix. Now, I'm aware of The Witcher. I'm aware that it is a book series, and it is a video game series. I actually own one of The Witcher games. I've never played it. Um, so I'm generally kind of sort of familiar, but I've never actually played the games or read the book. So, this is going to be interesting, but it is kind of a fantasy setting, which is something that I like. Um... And Netflix, I used to say they always did good stuff, but they've been kind of hit and miss. I mean, the Marvel stuff was, some of it was good and a lot of it was bad. So we'll have to see what they have to offer here. So here we go. I'm going in not only blind to the teaser, but really blind to the universe, uh, in, except for the just most general stuff. So here we go. I remember hearing stories about witches. Is it true what they say? Elves are the original sorcerers of the continent. When humans and monsters arrived, elves taught the humans how to turn chaos into magic. And then the humans slaughtered them. Chaos okay. is the most dangerous thing in this world. But without control. Chaos will kill you. We've got witches, elves, magic, humans. So that's all life is to you? Monsters and money. It's all it needs to be. Something out there waits for you. I recognize that this is kind of the main character. I mean, the tra teaser saying that, but I mean, from the video games, too. Yennefer, imagine the most powerful woman in the world. Do you have what it takes? Got a lot of. Uh, just because you're terrified of it. I, I don't want to say Game of Thrones feel, but what I'm trying to say is same sort of world, maybe, ish. At least from like sets and locations. No matter what you choose, you'll come out bloody. Okay, there's some magic. Oh, oh, the dark eyes. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about that. So <clears throat> let's come back. Sorry about the clearing my throat there. So we've got this guy who I, I, I kind of recognize from the video game is the main character. And the, the teaser really implies that as well. He gives us a little bit of lore about, and this is an interesting character. I wonder since... The the one woman says, imagine the most powerful woman, and then it looked like it's the same actor, but looks different, that this might be makeup. I'm not sure. It might be the, the actor's normal face, too. Um, but I'm kind of curious. Her, I think she's the one who said, imagine the most powerful uh, female or woman or whatever she said, exactly. But we get a, bit, a little of the lore of the uh, elves having magic and, I guess, teaching man and man killing the elves or something of that nature, from what I gathered world but without control yeah chaos will kill you so i don't so really this like this, this teaser is not telling me is not telling me the purpose of the witcher i don't i mean i get that there's a world where it seems like if i'm if i'm understanding correctly um there was magic the elves controlled it they kind of taught the humans or the humans took it or whatever but then they destroyed the elves, so they, there's magic in the world, but it's kind of rogue magic. It's not really controlled. It, this is what I'm gathering based on the, the kind of the words I'm hearing here. And maybe the witch's job is to control that or to put down bad magic users or something. I'm not quite sure. I don't think the teaser did a good job of that. It almost... Money. It's all it needs to be. I think it tried to either... If you don't know anything about the Witcher series, it was trying to just get you... I think it was trying to go for kind of a Game of Thrones-ish sort of thing, to be honest with you. Make you think, oh, Game of Thrones is over. This kind of looks like Game of Thrones. I'll watch this. Um, and if you know something about The Witcher, it doesn't bother trying to explain it to you because it figures you know it. As somebody who knows that it is a thing, um, I know it's not Game of Thrones, so I'm missing that little bit about what it is. Um, but it is only a teaser. I'm sure when there's a full trailer coming out, but just before the series comes out, usually, usually like the same week it comes out. Yeah, isn't that the same actor? I mean, I could be wrong. 
but it looks like Woman in the world. she looks like her or maybe not i don't know i think they're trying to give that impression though yeah especially with the same colored eyes maybe that's why i'm i'm getting fooled by it. i don't know what it takes so i'm curious about who these people are the the two women there are a lot of battles. That's kind of a Game of Thronesy kind of thing, I think. Especially the, you know, marching through the burning city sort of thing. It's coming. It's coming. Some big thing. So there's a lot of very stereotypical, cliche sort of stuff going in here about, you know, fantasy stories with with a wandering hero sort of thing. But it is a genre that I like. I like the fantasy, medieval fantasy kind of stuff. I like, to some extent, magic. Um, in stories, so it looks like there's plenty of action. I'm definitely going to watch it. I mean, uh, don't know if I'll be reacting to it. I might just check it out and uh, you know, and not react to the first episode just to see what it's like and and uh, go on from there. So, but anyway, I definitely will be checking it out no matter what. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about The Witcher. Have you played the game? Have you read the books? Let me know what I'm missing about the detail in the back, the lore of this thing. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye bye.